Do you want to take your Notion workspace to the next level with animated page icons and covers? Well, you're in luck because I'm here to show you how. Tasia like Fantasia here with another Notion quick tip tutorial. So if you want to turn your page icon into an animated page icon, you can do so using a GIF. And before you get all internet crazy on me, it's actually supposed to be pronounced GIF, not GIF, from the mouth of the creator himself. The guy who created the GIF won a 2013 Webby Award and for his acceptance speech, he created a GIF that says it's pronounced GIF, not GIF. And if you still don't believe me, I will totally link to that video in the description below. You can see it's pronounced GIF, not GIF, which I want to rally against so hard because it's not peanut butter. But, you know, I didn't invent it, so I don't get to name it. I digress. Back to the tutorial. So if you want to add a GIF to your icon, you can do so using either the direct upload image option or the link. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and do a link. So all you need to do is find the GIF you want to use, copy the GIF link from the website, and then you'll paste it under the link option and it should upload. Sometimes if you don't have a very good internet connection or Notion is being a little bit boggy for the day, sometimes the upload link takes a really long time to load or it just won't load at all. As you can see, that one isn't loading on me because I am have been having internet connection issues lately, which is not fun. But if you want to make sure that it's always going to appear, then I always recommend just uploading the image and you can download it directly from the website. Make sure you save it with the extension GIF. And then when you upload it, it'll upload and you'll have your cute little animated icon. And if we click into that page, you'll be able to see it in the full size version. And this is something to take note of. A lot of GIFs don't have transparent backgrounds. So for this one, if you're keeping everything in light mode, not a big deal. But if you switch it to dark mode, then you'll see that it's a square outline with the GIF inside. So just something to be mindful of. Now, if you want to create an animated cover, you do the exact same thing just for the cover instead of the icon. So go ahead and just click add cover and you're going to want to change the cover. And for this one, I also went ahead and already downloaded the GIF. So all we need to do is just add the wallpaper. When you're doing a cover image, what you'll want to do is probably go online and search for GIF wallpapers. That way it'll be wide enough for it to fit the full cover size. Or you can go into a design tool like Canva and create your own GIFs. That right there is how you create a animated page icon and animated page covers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified when the next Notion Quick Tip comes out. All right. Thank you. Bye, creatives.